a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Damien Lillard Damien Lamontoli Lillard is an American professional basketball player for the Portland Trail Blazers of the National Basketball Association. He played college basketball for the Weber State Wildcats and earned 13 more American honors in 2012, after being selected by Portland. With the sixth overall pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, Lillard won the NBA Rookie of the Year award by unanimous decision. An NBA All-Star in 2014, 2015, and 2018, Lillard is one of six players in franchise history to become a three-time All-Star. High School Career During his sophomore year, Lillard transferred to St. Joseph Notre Dame High School in Alameda, California, a private school that produced former NBA point guard Jason Kidd, but by years end he looked to transfer again due to the lack of playing time. Lillard played for coach Orlando Watkins at Oakland High School his final two years of high school where he was first team or league. As a junior, at Oakland, he averaged 19.4 points per game. He averaged 22.4 points and 5.2 assists per game his senior season and led Oakland to a 23-9 record. Lillard's development also grew during the summer of 2007 playing for Oakland's Premier Amateur Athletic Union basketball program. The Oakland Rebels Lillard was not heavily recruited out of high school and only regarded as a two-star prospect by Rivals.com. He would accept a scholarship offer to play for Weber State University, a mid-major school located in Ogden, Utah. College career As a freshman, Lillard averaged 11.5 points per game and was named Conference Freshman of the Year and First Team All Big Sky, the first Big Sky freshman to do so since Eastern Washington's Rodney Stuckey in 2006. His sophomore year, Lillard raised his scoring average to 19.9 points per game and led the Weber State Wildcats to the regular season conference championship. At the end of the season, Lillard was named the Big Sky Player of the Year and was an honorable mention All-American by the Associated Press. In 2010-11, Lillard was again off to a good start. However, his season was cut short after he suffered a foot injury 10 games into the season and was forced to take a medical red shirt. Lillard led the Big Sky in scoring with 19.7 points per game before his injury sidelined him for the year. As a redshirt junior, Lillard averaged 24.5 points and led the nation in scoring throughout most of the year, but ended up finishing second to Oakland University's Reggie Hamilton. On December 3, 2011, against San Jose State, Lillard scored a college career-high 41 points, including a game-winning three-point play that gave Weber State a 91-89 double overtime win. At the end of the year, he was named to his third first-team all-conference selection and won his second Big Sky Player of the Year award. Lillard was also a finalist for the Bob Cousy Award. After his strong year, Lillard was widely regarded as the top point guard prospect in the country and decided to forego his senior season to enter the 2012 NBA draft. He finished his college career as the number two scorer in Weber State history and the number five scorer in Big Sky history. 2012-13 season, Rookie of the Year Lillard was selected with the sixth overall pick in the 2012 NBA Draft by the Portland Trail Blazers. In the season opener against the Los Angeles Lakers on October 31, Lillard joined Oscar Robertson and Allen Iverson as the only players in NBA history with at least 20 points and 10 assists in their NBA debut. In addition, his 11 assists tallied in the opener with the most by an NBA rookie in his first game since Jason Kidd in 1994, and the most by a trailblazer in his NBA debut, all time. Lillard made a career-high 15 field goals and a trailblazer rookie record seven three-pointers on January 11 against the Golden State Warriors, where he finished with 37 points, six rebounds, and four assists. He became the first trailblazer to win an event at the NBA All-Star Weekend, winning the Skills Challenge. He also participated in the Rising Stars Challenge during All-Star Weekend and finished with 18 points, 3 rebounds, and 5 assists in a game-high 28 minutes. Lillard became the first NBA rookie to record 35 points, 9 assists and 0 turnovers in a game, since turnovers became a stat in 1978-79 against the San Antonio Spurs on March 8. 
on April 10 against the Lakers. Lillard scored a season-high 38 points. He earned Western Conference Rookie of the Month honors for every month, becoming one of just eight players to sweep NBA Rookie of the Month honors since the inaugural award in 1981-82. He finished fifth in the NBA in three-pointers made, 12th in points per game, tied for 16th in assists per game and tied for 23rd in free throw percentage. He was one of 10 NBA players to score 1,500 points and he led all rookies in scoring, assists, field goals and free throws. Lillard averaged 19.0 points, 3.1 rebounds, 6.5 assists, 0.90 steals and 38.6 minutes in 82 games, as he won the NBA Rookie of the Year award, joining Blake Griffin, David Robinson, and Ralph Sampson as the only players to win the award unanimously. He became the fourth Trail Blazer to win the award and joined Robertson and Iverson as the only rookies in NBA history to record 1,500 points and 500 assists in a season. Lillard became one of two Trail Blazers to ever finish with 1,500 points and 500 assists in a season. Broke the all-time NBA rookie record for three-pointers in a season, surpassing Stephen Curry's 166 three-pointers in 2009-10 became the Portland franchise leader for most three-point field goals in a season, breaking Damon Stoudemire's record of 181 in 2004-05, and became the first rookie to lead the NBA in total minutes played since Elvin Hayes in 1968-69. 2013-14 season, first All-Star selection. In the season opener on October 30, Lillard scored 32 points against the Phoenix Suns. He had a second 32-point effort on December 7 against the Dallas Mavericks. On December 17, he had 36 points, 10 assists, and 8 rebounds against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The following day, he had a second straight 36-point effort against the Minnesota Timberwolves on January 7, in a 123-119 loss to the Sacramento Kings. Lillard scored a career-high 41 points, including 26 in the fourth quarter breaking Portland's franchise record for most points in any quarter. On February 7, he had a 38-point effort against the Indiana Pacers. During All-Star Weekend, Lillard became the first player in NBA history to take part in five events. During the All-Star festivities, the Rising Stars Challenge, Skills Challenge, Three-Point Contest, Slam Dunk Contest, and the All-Star Game. Lillard started all 82 games for the second straight year and averaged 20.7 points, 5.6 assists and 3.5 rebounds per game. Portland finished fifth in the Western Conference with a 54-28 record and faced the Houston Rockets in the first round of the 2014 NBA playoffs. In Game 1 of the series, Lillard recorded 31 points and 9 rebounds in his first playoff appearance to help propel Portland to a 122-120 overtime win over Houston. In Game 6 of the series, Lillard became the first player to make a buzzer-beating shot to win a playoff series since Utah's John Stockton against Houston in 1997. Lillard's three-pointer as time expired gave Portland a 99-98 victory over Houston, as he finished with 25 points to lift the Trail Blazers to their first playoff series win since 2000. The Trail Blazers went on to lose in five games to the San Antonio Spurs in the second round. Lillard had a series-best game in Game 4 with a 25-point effort, helping the Trail Blazers win their sole game of the series. At the season's end, Lillard was named to the All-NBA third team. 2014-15 season, second All-Star selection. For the third straight season, Lillard started all 82 games for the Trail Blazers. He averaged career highs in points, rebounds, steals, and field goal percentage but averaged a career-low 34% from three-point range. He shot well during the first two months of the season, before struggling with his shot from January onwards. Despite this, he set the record for most three-pointers in a player's first three seasons, led the team in win shares, and finished second in per. On December 19, 2014, he scored a career-high 43 points in a 129-119 triple overtime win over the San Antonio Spurs. Four days later, he had a 40-point effort against the Oklahoma City Thunder. 
On January 5, 2015, he had a 39-point effort against the Los Angeles Lakers. On February 8, 2015, Lillard was selected as a replacement for the injured Blake Griffin in the 2015 NBA All-Star Game. On March 4, 2015, Lillard recorded a career-high 18 rebounds in a 98-93 win over the Los Angeles Clippers. The Trail Blazers finished the regular season as the fourth seed in the Western Conference with a 51-31 record. They faced the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round of the playoffs, where they lost in five games. Lillard shot 16% from three-point range during the series, hitting just 5 of 31 including going 0 of 6 in Game 1. 2015-16 Season On July 9, 2015, Lillard signed a five-year, $120 million contract extension with the Trail Blazers. On October 28, 2015, Lillard recorded 21 points and 11 assists in a season-opening win over the New Orleans Pelicans. His one three-pointer made during the game was his 600th career three-point field goal, making him the fastest NBA player in history to reach the mark at 247 games. In addition, Lillard's 11 assists gave him 1,500 for his career, making him the fastest trailblazer to reach the milestone since Terry Porter. In the following game on October 30 against the Phoenix Suns, Lillard became the fastest player to reach 5,000 points and 1,500 assists since Daryl Crows. On December 12, in a loss to the New York Knicks, Lillard became the first Blazer since Clyde Drexler in 1991-92 to record 600 points and 150 assists during the team's first 25 games. On December 21, Lillard missed the first game of his career with plantar fasciitis in his left foot, ending his streak of playing in 275 consecutive games. Backcourt partner C. J. McCollum also missed the game, leaving the Trail Blazers without their two leading scorers to face the Atlanta Hawks, subsequently losing the game 106-97. He missed a further six games with the injury, returning to action on January 4 against the Memphis Grizzlies and recording 17 points and 7 assists in a 91-78 loss. On January 8, he scored a then-season-high 40 points in a loss to the Golden State Warriors. On January 18, in a win over the Washington Wizards, he hit his 2000th NBA field goal, one of only eight players to reach that mark since he entered the league in 2012-13. On January 26, in a win over the Sacramento Kings, Lillard recorded 15 points and 13 assists for his 10th double-double of the season, a career high. On February 19, he scored a career high 51 points in a 137-105 win over the Golden State Warriors. He became the first player in NBA history to have at least 50 points, 7 assists and 6 steals since the steal became an official statistic in 1973-74. Two days later, he scored 30 points against the Utah Jazz, becoming the first Blazer to score at least 30 points in four consecutive games since Drexler accomplished the feat in 1991. He extended that streak to five in the team's following game on February 23 against the Brooklyn Nets. Over his first 300 games in the NBA, Lillard averaged 21.2 points and 6.2 assists per game. Only four other players in NBA history averaged 21 points and six assists over their first 300 games, Oscar Robertson, Nate Archibald, LeBron James, and Dwayne Wade. On March 4, he had his second 50-point game of the season in a 117-115 loss to the Toronto Raptors. On March 8, Lillard had 41 points and 11 assists in a 116-109 overtime win over the Washington Wizards, recording his 15th straight game with 20-plus points. He also had his 400th assist of the season, making him the first Trail Blazer with 400-plus assists in each of his first four seasons. In the Trail Blazers season finale on April 13 against the Denver Nuggets, Lillard hit his 827th career three-pointer besting Wesley Matthews' Portland franchise record of 826. Lillard finished the regular season with an average of 25.1 points per game, while C. J. McCollum averaged 20.8 making them the first backcourt in Blazers history to average 20 or more points apiece.
Lillard also became the third Blazer to average 25-plus points, joining Drexler and Kiki Van Duga. After defeating the Los Angeles Clippers in the first round of the playoffs, the Trail Blazers moved on to face the Golden State Warriors in the second round. In Game 3 of the series, Lillard recorded 40 points and 10 assists to help the Trail Blazers win 120-108, cutting the Warriors' advantage in the series to 2-1. The Trail Blazers went on to lose the series in five games. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?